So in today's video, I am going to go through step by step how I do my foundation routine for full glam whenever you're going out with your friends, with your man, with your family and you just want to look good. This is the foundation routine for you. This routine will always have you looking flawless, okay? Regardless of what angle the picture is getting taken from, you're going to look blended, you're going to look flawless, you're going to look a freaking brushed okay so if you guys are interested in that i don't know why i'm moving my head so much but if you guys are interested in that then please keep on watching so in today's video we're gonna be doing an updated foundation routine woo, woo. i feel like i haven't given you guys one in years so we're gonna fix that okay excuse the voice again for sounding like a man i am recording early morning of the day and you guys know that i am not a morning person but here we are. So as you can see, I've already started filling my brows and I stopped because I wanted to come on here and actually show you guys everything I do in terms of base for you guys to get that flawless base that we all love. Especially during the winter season, my foundation routine does change just because the weather's trying to get your girl, okay? And we're here for it, okay? So the steps I've done so far that I forgot to show you guys is, obviously I washed my face with a gentle cleanser and I have turned with my Skin Proud Detox Tonic. This is absolutely amazing. This is like my second bottle and I'm already running really low on it. I need to go and purchase some. I absolutely love this toner. It's so gentle on the skin. It's really been helping out my skin a lot as well in terms of like having like an even layer. I feel like this one is actually my favorite toner. I think it's the only toner that I technically use unless I'm trying new products, but that has never let me down and I absolutely love it. So you can get it if you want, but yeah. And then I went with my Skin Proud Bright Eye Eye Cream. I just literally just placed it underneath my eyes. I absolutely love this as well. I said this video is not sponsored by Skin Proud, but if they won't, they could because I already love the product. So yeah, that is all I have on my skin right now. As you can see, the toner gives me like a nice radiant glow. I have nothing else on my skin right now. Except for my eyebrows, obviously. Just look at my skin right now. Just the toner and the eye cream. You know, I thought that I have moisturized my skin and I haven't because that's where I stopped and I thought, let me come on here and show you guys what I do. So next, I am going to be using this Demologica Biolumi Gel Moisturizer. I've used this a couple times and I actually really like it. So I thought, let me use it in this video as well. I think this is a recent product from them. I'm just going to use it to moisturize my face. It's a Brighton and Vitamin C Moisturizer. And I have used it with the Skin Proud products as well. And they haven't irritated each other, which is good. Do I see that glow? I swear to you, if you want a flawless base, you need to do your skincare because these are the things that's gonna help determine how your makeup sits on your skin. So please make sure you're doing your skincare because it is vital, okay, to the beat. It is vital to the beat, okay? And then just to lock everything in place, I like to go in with my vitamin E oil and I just pat that in. Whenever I have a makeup video, please have it in the back of your mind that I have done the steps before coming on camera to just like do the makeup video for you guys. Just a little FYI if you guys didn't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go off to my brows and I'll be right back. Brows are done, we're looking cute. Let's start with this routine. So first step is primer. And the primer of choice today is the Too Faced Plump and Prime Primer. This is one of those primers that literally melts into your skin. Depending on your skin type, obviously you wanna go in with a primer that's suitable for your skin. You will know best what works for your skin. If you have oily skin, you might wanna use a perfecting primer or a mattifying primer, it just depends on what type of look you're going for. If you have dry skin, you, want, you might wanna go with a hydrating primer or like an oil-based primer so that your skin feels radiant and hydrated and gives that glow from within. Do what works best for your skin because I won't know that. So I'm just doing what works for my skin. My skin type fluctuates throughout the year. I am combination skin. So sometimes I do get oily in my T-zone. If you're combination skin as well, you might wanna go with two primers. One to tackle the oils on your T-zone and one for whatever 
the rest of your face is because it's winter my skin tends to be a little bit drier so i need to go in with hydrating primers and oil primers and just primers that make my skin feel juicy and bouncy i just want to wake up my skin just to make my skin feel a little bit more plumped a little bit more bouncier that's what i like to do next i do like to go with a setting spray after upon my primer i just feel like it does something and it helps somehow that i started doing it like years ago and i have not really stopped doing it it is honestly just a preference that i like to do i'm just gonna go with my Too Faced hangover rx 31 setting spray this is a cult favorite it's like a really refreshed setting spray it is light and it keeps my skin hydrated so that is what i personally like this setting spray you guys might think i'm going in heavy with a lot of dewy and hydrating products that's just because i know that i'm going to be setting my face later on and i'm going to be baking as well so i don't want to over bake and then my skin is left dry now i'm going to go in my laura mercier secret camouflage brighten and correct duo this is a stick concealer i like to place a concealer underneath my eyes just to cancel out my bags because honey we don't want them i kind of stopped putting foundation underneath my eyes because to be honest it's not really needed doing this acts as a corrector for my concealer later on and because i got this scar right here so i'm just gonna play the concealer on there as well just to cancel that out and this concealer is really good because it literally does what it says on the bottle love her oh yeah i'm using the shade 6w if anyone's interested for foundations today i'm going to be using two of my favorite foundations and that is the nars share glow foundation with my nars natural radiance foundation i'm just mixing this two because this is too light and this is too dark and the combination of both of them is honestly amazing just for shade references this is in the shade new caledonia and this is in the shade zambi and i like to place the foundation in the middle of my face and then work it out because the outer part of your face is a little bit darker so I like to use less foundation there and that is how you avoid that cakey you know line if you work outwards you like share out the product to the edge of your face does that make sense i'm going to use my morphe m439 foundation brush just to blend this out as well i'm going to start packing this on the center of my face and see just drag out the product so it's not like cakey just dragging out just removes that cakey line from your face that separates your face and your neck that is why i like to do that but doing this as well allows you to like use less products and that way you get more for your money so next i'm gonna go back with my laura mercier concealer use the same shade again i'm gonna use this to head up my nose and then how that the rest of my face and these concealer sticks are so creamy like they glide on like butter and then for my under eye i'm gonna go with my next can't stop will stop concealer in the shade warm caramel and i'm just gonna mix a little bit of my elf hydrating camel concealer in the shade chestnut just because that has a little bit of a golden feel to it and that one's more neutral so i like a little bit of color underneath my eyes gonna go in Grab a beauty sponge and just blend that out. And whatever is left, I use it on my forehead. Next step is my favorite part because it is literally bringing color back into my skin. Because right now we are looking a little bit light. And we don't want to look like that okay we're gonna go with my absolute favorite thing in the world to bronze my skin with it is the makeup session mega concealer in the shade 18 baby this is me in a bottle i bloody love this it is the right amount of chocolateness right amount of richness it's just the right amount of everything Okay, underneath my nose, under my chin. You guys are about to see what I mean in two seconds, like. Oh, look at that. And I'm just gonna blend this downwards. 
And then my recent favourite thing to do is go in with my Colourpop concealer and just place that right here. This part is actually not necessary whatsoever and just put a little bit on my cheeks as well. It's like a burnt orange shade. I'm just gonna blend that out again. This shade acts as a bronzer and a blush at the same time for me, which is what I like. Then I'm just gonna grab a small blending brush. I'm just gonna blend my nose contour. Okay, next step is actually optional, but I like to do it sometimes. I skip it sometimes. I like to do it sometimes. Just depends on the mood. And that is blush, liquid blush. In today's video, we're gonna do it because why not? This is the MUA Blushed Liquid Blush. It's in the shade Rogue Noir. Absolutely stunning shade for darker skin tone. For all, one, two. That is all we need. Grab my brush and just blend that as well. And then just before we set everything, you're gonna go back with your foundation brush. Make sure everything is blended to how you like. So there's no harsh lines. Get your under eye creases because once you set it baby that's it okay so now i feel like i am ready to set my face so firstly i am gonna go in with my maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder in the shade 350 caramel to set my highlighted areas <laughs> So next we are going to bake our highlighted areas because obviously the powder, the medium powder can't hold this on for the whole day. So we need to go in with something a bit more heavier. So we're going to be using the iHeart Revolution scented baking powder. Absolute favourite, so inexpensive. Makes my makeup look so good. Okay, so the trick of getting your setting powder not to be cakey or patchy on you is literally grabbing your sponge, going into your setting powder, grab your hand, tap off the excess, and then go in. This goes on your skin a lot more smoother. I'm just gonna add more because I did use a lot of concealers underneath my eyes. I don't want it to crease up on me, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so next is setting powder. I like to go in with a new favorite of mine is the Wonder Tea Go Beyond powder. And it's honestly just a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. Ever since I got it, I have not put it down. I'm just gonna use it to set my entire face. I personally like to contour and bronze because I have a really round face and I don't really have cheekbones like that. So I need to go with a contour shade so that my cheeks can stand out and I go with a bronzer to make my skin warm. So the two products I'll be using to achieve that it will be my Fenty Beauty the Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 495. And I'm going to be using my Toasted Bronzer to contour my nose and to bronze up my face. So I want to go in with my Fenty Beauty first. I don't really want a really harsh contour. That's why I go in with a more fluffier brush rather than like an angled shade brush. And I just go in really lightly as well. If you haven't noticed, everything is gradient. You want to work in a gradient motion. From light to dark, dark to light, you know. I'm gonna grab this big old powder brush. I'm gonna grab the bronzer and then I just go in. I don't want no one to see where my makeup starts and stops. So that's why I go in with bigger brushes so that it's like less focused on an area. It is time to take off my extra powder from my face because like I said, I don't like to wait for too long. So the trick is to get your face powder, a tapered brush like this, grab a little bit and just start dusting off with it. You know that I'm But for my under eye, I tend to pack it in and then swipe, pack and swipe. Then lastly, before I go in and set my face, I'm going to be using my EX1 blusher. This is in the shade Love Story, an absolute new favourite of mine. Such a stunning blush. 
And I'm just gonna go back in with my Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray. I'm just gonna set my face. And this is pretty much my foundation routine. I'm gonna go finish off my eyes and do my lips and I'll be right back. So hey cousins, I am back with my eyes and lips done. Our full face is looking good from all angles. Last step in our foundation routine that I forgot to mention. I like to do this sometimes. I'm gonna grab any highlighter. I've got this Primark highlighter. I'm just gonna tap this in the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose. This part is completely optional, but we just give that little extra oomph to my nose highlights and contour and yeah we are pretty much done with this routine it might look like it's a lot and that is because it is can't lie but this is not for every single day wear but this is the foundation routine that i like to do i do skip some steps on my everyday makeup look but when you the part this is the foundation routine that i go to i always like to go for a fresh flawless beat where you guys don't know where anything starts or stop everything's blended out into each other so yeah this is pretty much it do you guys like it let me know down below in the comment section i have nothing else to say to you guys thank you guys so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.